Hello, welcome, welcome back. This is Wensi from Wensi's Toys Channel, and in this video, I will be reviewing the Lego set 76328, the classic TV series Batmobile, from the Lego DC Superhero series from 2024. So let's get right to it. Oh, and before I forget, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing as a lot of my viewers have not yet subscribed to my channel and it would help me a lot in bringing you more content like this in the future. Thank you very much! Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the minifigure. So I said just minifigure because there's only one minifigure in this set because it is a UCS set, somewhat. So this is the again the 1966 batman just like the batman in the lego in the 2021 lego set 76188 this is the 1966 batman portrayed by adam west and the same it's the same printing here for the bat suit so this big blue and gray bat suit with the big campy um, yellow utility belt and yellow Batman emblem here. But the one thing different here with the UCS set is that there's a lot more detailed printing in the utility belt, as you can see there, as opposed to just plain yellow. And it still has the bat signal or Batman symbol um, buckle, but there the other packets or pockets in the utility belt has a lot more printing. So that I appreciate that much. And as you can see here, his smiling face has more teeth as opposed to just the white printing. And one more thing that's different with this UCS set as opposed to the 2021 set is that it has a rubber cape. So the 2021 set had a cloth cape. So this one had a, has a rubber cape and if i take that that's why it's a little bit hard to take off without taking the head but as you can see here even at the back the back printing it has more detail in the utility belt that i appreciate so much so and the other facial expression here that we have is again his in my review i'll put a link down in the description of my previous review of the smaller 1966 Batmobile or I'll put a link here but this one it had a stern face but this one is a little bit more of an angry face so now on to the main build and again this is set 76328 the Batman classic TV series Batmobile or the 1966 Batmobile and this is the bigger version as you can see here with my hands the bigger version of the 2021 set 76188 um, in back in 2021. So this is the larger version and of course like the 19 the 2019 1989 Batmobile and the 2021 Tumblr it is a big set. And of course since I am a Batman fan for a very long time I had to have this, right? So Again, I like, I grew up with reruns of the 1966 Batman series, even though it was campy. I was a kid. I think I was between probably seven to nine years old when I was watching the series. So it was up my alley. But of course, when I grew up a little more years back in high school where I found the Batman comics and I found the more grittier Batman. Of course, I found everything in the 1966 series so campy, but it's what with I grew up with. So this is what introduced me to the Batman lore. And it is still a pretty cool looking car. It is a futuristic car um, from that era. So, I'll, again, I'll link a, a link to my previous review of the 2019 set, the smaller version of this, but I still believe this is a cool looking set. One of the things that I found that was rather disappointing, but 
I think I've come to terms with it after realizing, yes, this was supposed to be campy. And because of how it was, it's like, there are a lot of stickers. So just let me show you. I'll tilt this a bit. Maybe you don't see, but because of how the show was, a lot of the Batman gadgets have labels on them. So, of course, since you have labels for everything, you have stickers for everything in the Batmobile, in the Batcave, everything in that show had basically a label. Then, of course, we had to have labels here as well. So unfortunately, these are stickers for the labels here. So that even the compass here, the radar scope here, which is detect a scope here, says here. Um, even if you look at the front, there are labels here. This is called the bat ray, even for the gas here. Even if you look at the back, there are so many labels here, like the bat shoot and the nail spreaders here. Um, Again, this is the exhaust for the engine here. And one thing that I find weird now as a grown-up, uh, but back when I was a kid, I thought this was cool. So there is a jet engine here, just like all the, the 1989 Batmobile had a jet engine where the intake was in the front, right? Which is kind of weird. Because like, if that's the intake and there's a whole seat here for the um the cage here the drive cage where are is everything in the middle right so <laughs> so like here at there's a jet engine here but if you look here at the back there is a hood here a compartment so usually if you have the 1960s car the back or even now the trunk has a lot of where the baggage is so here we have the mobile crime computer here so there's a lot of stickers here for the wirings as well, which is unfortunate. But yeah, that I guess that's just how it is. Kind of weird, but I guess I'll have to live with it. The biggest qualm that I have with this set, I would have uh, forgiven or been okay with all the labels here as stickers, but... The same as the smaller, the 2021 set, the smaller one. The bat signal was a sticker then. It's still a sticker now. This could have been a printed piece, right? If you're going to be building a UCS set, it's okay with the smaller sets because those are play sets. And yeah, it would have been better if this bat symbol here was a printed piece but this is a sticker so it's at the other side the only printed piece are the hubcaps which i think is a disappointment so if you're not a fan of the stickers and you're okay with probably leaving out some of the details for authenticity of the bat 1966 batmobile then you can opt not to put all the labels here because even here there's a label here there's a sticker here. Um, even for the bat fire extinguisher, there's the bat symbol there is a sticker. So unfortunately, that's I guess that's how it is. Um, they still have a phone here. So that's nice. There's a lot of more stickers here for the radios and all the gadgetry. So of course, probably you'll have to leave those. But for the labels, maybe you can opt them out. Also, one other thing that I found interesting is for the smaller model, unfortunately, I don't have it here with me at where I'm at right now. It's back in storage. So the angled bat wing here for the car, um, the smaller model, you can flip it towards the inside, but this one, you flip it downwards. So there's just a stopper here. And of course, again, there's a sticker there to hide the stopper, but that's how you make it into an angle. And also how the shaping here and even the detailing here, th these are all stickers, which is hard to line up because of the black um, pieces here. Maybe we could have gotten away with just a cheese slice here. I don't know, but because of these new curved pieces here, 
they had to make curved stickers as well, which kind of, I don't know, makes it a little bit unbearable. And it's on both sides of this plane here. So, yeah, if you are a Batman fan and you've and you're okay with the 1966 campy Batman series, then definitely you'll have to have this in your collection. It's a fun build, don't get me wrong. And I think it's a little shorter, maybe a bit the same size as the tumbler in length. But it is, it, because it's based on a real car, then it is shorter and thinner than the more modern 1989 Batmobile and the tumbler. And again, of course, we have here the sticker plate here for the um, specs of the Batmobile. Unfortunately, they didn't build, build a rotation plate, unlike the one for the Tumblr and the 1989 Batmobile. They just gave us this plate here. So it's a little bit, I don't know if Lego is not anymore building those kinds of um stands here for their Batmobiles. But still, again, I think this is a good set. It's a nice display set that you can put in your collection. And of course, the there is no Batman that doesn't have a gargoyle stand here. I don't know why they put a gargoyle stand here for the 1966 Batman, because I don't think it's definitely his style. But we have that here as well. So that's it for my little quick raw review of this set. There's nothing much to pay, but yeah. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And please consider subscribing as a lot of you have not yet subscribed to my channel. It would help me a lot in bringing you more content like this in the future. Thank you very much.